Welcome to T Developers. In this video, let's build the responsive developer portfolio that we saw in the last video. And uh, from the feedback of last video, I decided to create a code explanation video instead of uh, writing line by line code from scratch. So I have already written all of the code and in this video I will explain line by line each of the code and from that you can easily create your own responsive developer portfolio. So let's start. Before starting if you are new here make sure to subscribe and also like this video if you found this helpful. So uh, this is the main app and uh, this is the material app and this is very simple uh, in the inside the home of material app this is the home page and nothing ex extra on the main page and uh, if you will go on the home page and you can see this is only the simple home page but later we will add all the components so let's understand what is on the home page uh, this is a, a simple stateless widget and uh, we have created a scroll controller and a global scaffold key and i will use these later and i will explain why we are we have these two keys and controllers and uh, in inside the scaffold uh, we are using the scaffold key and uh, the reason why we are using the scaffold key is because of this end drawer and we want to open and close this end drawer with the help of uh, buttons and that's why we have used the scaffold key here this is the simple app bar and inside the actions first we are checking whether this is the mobile device means a small screen or large screen and for that we have created the utility class and uh, inside the utility class we have three methods first for checking the mobile or you can see uh, small screens and uh, you, here you can set your own your custom size mdqh is for getting the height of the current screen and uh, mdqw is for getting the width of current screen so this is the utility class from there if we are checking that the current device is mobile or small screen then we are simply showing a icon button and on pressing that icon button with the help of scaffold key we are opening the end drawer and this is this is the icon button and if uh, this is not the small screen means this is the large screen then uh, we will show the home page actions and if what is in the home page actions this is a simple stateless widget and uh, that is requiring a scroll controller because we need to scroll on a specific uh, uh, portion of page and uh, I, I will explain it later why we need a scroll controller here and uh, inside the build method first we are checking whether it is mobile or not so if, if it is mobile so we have to uh, return the uh, column and inside the column uh, we will we, we are calling the get widgets method that will return the list of widgets uh, that are uh, like this these, these are the columns and if this is the mobile then we are getting inside the column and if this is not the mobile means if this is the big screen then we are getting our widgets inside a row means if this is the big screen then the, these are the inside row so this was the home page actions uh, page uh, that is responsive means it, if it is mobile then these will come inside column and if it is, it is uh, large screen or desktop then it will call the row and all children will go inside this and inside the get widgets method we are returning a list of uh, widgets and uh, that are nothing but the text buttons and uh, what these buttons are doing on pressing of any of these button first we are checking if uh, it is mobile then first we are uh, popping means we are closing the end drawer then we are 
uh, scrolling means we are animating with uh, we are scrolling with animation to that section like this is the about section so about section is from 200 from the top and that's why we have used 200 and uh, this is the scroll duration and this is the curve and uh, scroll duration first uh, like if it is mobile then we are using the long scroll duration because uh, in mobile uh, there is a long uh, section to scroll and for and for desktop we are we have defined the small duration for scrolling because there is some little scroll on desktop and uh, similarly uh, for all each all of the section like skill we have uh, uh, these uh, this height and we, uh, and uh, if it is mobile then we have this height and it is not mobile then this the skills section is at this height so you have to uh, play around this like uh, on which height your a particular section is and uh, similarly these all uh, buttons are here and uh, these all buttons and uh, scroll features are in all of the buttons so this was the uh, get uh, widgets method so if you are on a small screen then you can see end drawer and if you are on large screen you will not see any end drawer instead you will see the uh, action element on a row so this is the end drawer first we are checking if it is mobile then we will show only my drawer and it is not mobile means this is the large screen then we don't need any any drawer so uh, when it is mobile in we are uh, calling uh, the my drawer widget means we are using this widget my drawer that is also a stateless widget and it is also using scroll controller because of scrolling on the by clicking on the section and uh, inside the body of this uh, scaffold uh, we have uh, simply home page actions and we are passing the simple scroll controller so you can see uh, we are using uh, home page actions twice means uh, also uh, here when opening the end drawer and also in the actions here if it is large screen okay so this was all, all about uh, end drawer and uh, now this is the uh, floating action button and uh, what it will do it will scroll on the top of screen means uh, if uh, it is mobile uh, then uh, we are using the small means the small size floating action button and if it not mobile then it will be large size and on pressing that button uh, from the scroll controller we are going to the starting means zero position uh, with uh, duration you can set your custom i have set it 800 and you can set any of the curve so this is the functionality of a scroll controller uh, the with the help of scroll controller you can scroll to any specific position with some nice animation and curves by some duration and uh, inside the child of floating action button we are using the uh, animated uh, gif uh, image uh, that will show like a uh, jump to top and let me refresh here you can see this is the icon button so uh, these were the home page like uh, app bar and end, end drawer and floating action buttons so now this is the main part of our screen means uh, inside this safe area we have stack and because we are using stack because we need uh, these social icon bar uh, because uh, this should be fixed and these all should be scrolled scrollable and that's why we are using the these all inside the scrollable single child scroll view and this is outside the scroll view social icons and that's why we have used stack uh, so uh, inside the stack uh, first uh, uh, this is the main scroll controller that we are using uh, and uh, this is the single child scroll view and this is the main controller that is uh, access accessed by all the uh, my actions and the, these menu bars and uh, inside the uh, column uh, we have all our 
pages and we have all our uh, headers uh, and sections so what is inside the header header is uh, basically the uh, first uh, means uh, about and the image that is on the screen like you can see this is the image and this is the about me part of this application so let's visit this header and uh, this is simple stateless widget and in this is inside a column and uh, in the children of column uh, we are using the wrap and why wrap because it will go accordingly with the height of uh, width of the our screen and that's why we have used wrap and for adjusting the side this is the uh, this is the main thing that is uh respond responsible for responsiveness and uh, we are checking that if it is mobile device then uh, you, you we are using the uh, entire width of the device if it is not then we are using the entire width by two and that's why it is divided into two parts when it is a large screen and not it is not divided on two parts when it is small screen and similarly for height and here in the image dot asset i am using the asset image and uh, here you can see the inside the asset folder this is the image that i am using in in the header one and uh, i uh, you need to also add that image on asset slash images on the asset of your pubspec.yml file after that uh, we have this uh, uh, about me and here you can see some text and for making this respond responsiveness here you can see some height and width property so this is the uh, header and uh, if uh, have if we look about more about me then this is the uh, simple page and now you can see uh, more about me and now if we will click on this top button we will be scrolled to top with some beautiful animation and now if we, i will click on this about then it will work because now some pages are here so more about me is also a simple stateless widget and that is containing some uh, text inside a column and uh, some text uh, and you can see uh, for the responsiveness we are using the uh, symmetric horizontal padding with the respect of mobile and not and uh, some side box for the spacing and this is the top skills section and uh, this is also simply a stateless widget and inside that uh, this is um, main thing for res uh, responsiveness and also here we have used the wrap uh, because only for the responsiveness region of wrap and uh, in the wrap uh, we have some skill cards uh, so skill card is basically uh, uh, a card that is uh, containing some images and uh, with uh, some responsiveness uh, you can see like we have set some height and width according to that and uh, I am quickly explaining because I don't want to make this video so long and also it's going too long and now you can see the top skill section I also we can uh, go from here like skills and uh, again some spacing and then we have recent projects and uh, this is a stateless widget simple and uh, inside the column we have some uh, text like uh, some of my recent projects and then inside the wrap again a wrap for responsiveness we have our three of projects and uh, i have created some demo projects and that's why we are using the constant dot project and this is the project model and that is containing some image url project name short description and action link and these, these are the demo projects so uh, now if i will refresh now we can see the uh, projects with some beautiful images and uh, uh, X and buttons again some spacing and then we have contact forum 
so uh, now we can go on the contact so it had some fields like name email message and a submit button and you can see this is also designed with uh, some columns and uh, taking care of response unit with, with uh, utility class uh, utility classes and uh, this is a simple uh, forum and text field and uh, you can see the code and uh, again some spacing then the final footer then again some spacing so now let's see the footer so contact and after contact you can see this nice footer let me open the footer components footer yeah so this is the simple page and this is the column row and some buttons for this clickable name and uh, so this was all and uh, final thing is remaining like uh, here uh, the social icons so uh, let me uncomment this social icon bar and now uh, we can see the uh, beautiful social icon bar here and if i we will scroll up or down these will be fixed on the screen uh, because only because of the uh, stack and yes uh, for that reason we have used the stack and now i think you have understood why we used the scroll controller and scaffold key scaffold key for the opening and closing of end drawer and uh, Con scroll controller for scrolling on some specific position on the screen and in this way you can uh, develop your own responsive portfolio the only thing you have to notice is uh, using some uh, flexible means uh, responsive widgets like wrap and uh, also uh, taking care of the width and height of your uh, device like uh, checking for the utility classes and uh, getting the width and height of your device uh, will help you to develop the responsive app in flutter and uh, i will uh, give the uh, github link in uh, source code link in the description uh, i know i have explained uh, very quickly and uh, i don't know how I, how i explained but uh, um, anyway thank thanks for watching and uh, you can i think you can understand better with the help of code if you know flutter and uh, yeah and that's was all about so have a great day